So apparently you guys have a ton of old hard drives that you're trying to access some information on and you're looking for a way to connect it because I did a video about this thing talking to you guys about why I got it and you guys had a ton of questions for me about how the thing works and about what can be hooked up to it so I figured that I would go through some of y'all's comments that y'all left in the previous video and we talk about that today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and use to find old files on our hard drives. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So first of all, what we have here is the Sabrent, S-A-B-R-E-N-T, a hard drive adapter, and it supports three different kind of hard drives. It comes with a power cord It comes uh, to connect to the hard drive. It comes with a power cord to fire up this thing, and then it also comes with a USB cord uh, that's connected to the device here, and then it powers up into the computer uh, via the USB right there, and this is USB 3, so it does have a, a fast data transfer. Now, let's get to some of these questions that you guys have, and if you guys have any more questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I will do another follow-up video if we get enough questions. But I do usually go back and respond to most of the questions that I have an answer for in text format, so I try to be up to date with you guys. So, first question that we have is from Damn Son. Uh, do you know if this is compatible with 3.5 inch hard drives? Yes, it is. In fact, this one right here, although it didn't mount for me because it's making a funny noise, y'all write on y'all's hard drives. Um, right here it says the 3.5 series. So this is the old school IDE 3.5 hard drives. These are like super duper old. I think the manufacturer date on this is something like 1996 or something like that. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is making a funny noise, which we're going to talk about a little bit later in the video if your hard drives are not mounting and all that type of stuff. So I'll get to that in a minute. The next one comes from Raina Mayat. She says, hi, thank you. I have this device and I followed your tips. However, I can't see the hard drive in Windows 10. Could you help me on this? So whenever it comes to Windows 10, unfortunately, I don't have much information because I don't use Windows 10, but I did notice that somebody else in the comments on the previous video said that they were having trouble with Windows 10. So I don't know if it's uh, something in Windows 10 that's making it not be able to read the hard drive, or is it your hard drive? It could be that your hard drive is corrupted and it's not able to be mounted to the computer. So that's one thing that uh, you probably might want to check with Microsoft on and, and it, or it could be something with the, the hard drive. You may want to try calling your hard drive manufacturer. I'm not sure about what's going on with Windows 10. I use a Mac and it works on my Mac. And I believe on the box it said that it worked with Windows. So I, I'm sorry, I don't have a good answer for you there. Uh, Sefir Raman Rassel, hopefully I'm saying these names correctly. Uh, can I connect both of these hard disks with that one connector and plug that into the laptop? Will it work? So I just tried this because I was actually kind of interested uh, to know. But first I have to note that these are all three different types of hard drives. So like these two right here, these are both 3.5 IDE hard drives. So there's only one spot on the adapter to be able to only plug in one of them. So if you're looking at the same hard drives, it's not gonna work because you don't have enough space. Now, you have a, a SATA hard drive, which you'll mainly find these in laptops. They're a little bit uh, smaller. Or if you do a 2.5 um, pinned hard drive, you could, you can't do the SATA hard drives mixed with the IDE, and here's your reason why. Let me go ahead and explain it for you. So with your IDE hard drive, you're gonna wanna plug in your adapter into the back of the unit here, just matching up your pins. And then, because it's an IDE hard drive, you're gonna need to get power to it, and so you're gonna need to plug in this power cord right here on the side. Now, if I wanted to plug in this SATA hard drive, I can't get to that port right there because this power cord is in the way. So um, I have to say that one, the logistics of it right here. Now, if you have a different kind of power cord and you can actually get it to fit it to where it's over to the side and then you could try and put this one on, it might work. Because of the location for me, I wasn't able to be successful with trying it. 
Uh, now, and also with getting a 2.5 inch IDE hard drive, I don't know if that would work because I don't have one of those hard drives. So I'm sorry, I can't really help you in that department, but just as far as the functionality of this, uh, the way the power cord does uh, wrap into there, no, I, it, it won't work that way. Uh, the next question comes from AKA Beast, and they said, can I use this cable to plug my OS SSD for everyday use because I don't have a free SATA port left. I haven't tried that yet. Um, I know some people run their operating system on an external hard drive that they can just uh, either plug in with, a, like he said, a free SATA port, but he didn't have any left. Um, my guess is if it's fast enough to run over USB 3, then it should work. I'm just not 100% sure on that. I will say that the speed is probably there, but if there is a, a hiccup with the speed comparing your processor speed to the hard drive speed, it may run a little bit slower. So like I said, I, I don't have a good answer for you there, but that's just my thoughts on it. If anybody knows or has tried that, down, let me know down in the comments below. We can kind of come together as a community of dads and people trying to figure this stuff out and uh, see if we can find a good answer. So let me know down in the comments below if y'all have any idea about what the correct answer is. By the way, if you guys want to check this thing out too, I'm going to link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it. Um, but go, uh, it works for me for what I needed it for, which was just to access some old hard drives. Uh, the next one comes from TomTom Tom Sweet. He says, can these work with any type of hard drive, uh, i.e. or e.g. Seagate, for it only has 19 pins. So in my experience, I have used this hard drive with Western Digital. I got a Western Digital one right here. I had a Seagate one, and the Seagate one crapped out on me, but it does still work with this a particular hard drive adapter. Uh, I have this MacStore, old MacStore hard drive right here. Uh, it fires up and it tries to spin up again, making a funny noise, so I'm having troubles there. And this one I believe is a Hitachi, yeah, it's a Hitachi uh, hard drive, and this one worked for me. So it seems like it works with any brand out there. Uh, I'm not brand specific with my reviews here, and so I got, was able to try a few different ones, so, and they all worked for me. So uh, it should work with some of the ones that you might have that you're trying to test out. And honestly, since you're buying it on Amazon, if it doesn't work out for you, just send it back to Amazon. You get you know your money refunded and all that type of stuff. So uh, definitely do that. Does it work for 3.5 SATA hard drives also? So if you guys remember, SATA hard drives are these right here. They have a different pin style. And um, this is a laptop one, which I believe is a 2.5 or something like it's, it's smaller because the 3.5 is this thing right here. And I think that it should work with a 3.5 because I believe in the instructions for this, it said that it works with SATA hard drives. It didn't denote, um, it didn't note like a, a bigger one or a smaller one or anything like that. So Diesel James, it should work for you. Uh, the next one comes from Motoristang Cook bong pogey. <laughs> Will this work if I don't plug the power supply, the one with four pins? And so he's talking about this particular uh, device right here. This is the one that uh, mounts your 3.5 old IDE hard drives. And if you want to mount the old school hard drives, these are called IDE hard drives, the one with all the pins and the power port here, then you're going to need to supply some power to it. It has to get power to it somehow. Now, if you already have a different power supply, like maybe from an a external fan box or something from an old computer, you can definitely plug that into there to get the power supply. You don't necessarily need the power supply from this if you have an alternative power supply source. but. Um, if you are running the SATA hard drives, this right here, and I mentioned this in the previous video, you can just simply plug in this guy to your adapter. Why can't I get it in? Hang on, it's gonna go in, it's gonna go in. There we go. And then look, I'm gonna actually unplug the power supply here so that you guys know that it's not plugged in. And I'm going to simply pop this thing into my computer here. And I'm going to flip, this is not plugged in either, I'm going to flip the on switch. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it just fired up uh, on my computer. 
and it just started reading right here as at this uh, untitled hard drive right there. That's that same one. So if you have a SATA hard drive, the the uh, USB 3 will power the hard drive to be able to make it spin up and mount. But if you're doing IDEs, not gonna work. Sorry, if you're old school like that. All right, the next one. Will it work with a laptop hard drive model? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know. I do, I'm not model specific. I will tell you that this came from a laptop and it worked for me. So it sh might work. I don't, I, I can't give you an idea. Now I think that the 2.5 uh, hard IDE hard drives which run on this connector and not this connector are right, this one's uh, they're a little bit smaller if you're an old school laptop hard drive it might work with this side so I don't like I said I don't have an old laptop to be able to test it on so uh, I'm, I'm sorry I, I can't really give you a good uh, answer there but it worked for mine if it's a SATA hard drive. Uh, Jerry Vitaligus asked how about a PS3 hard drive from an old fat model 60 gig. Again, I don't have a PS3 here, so I'm gonna come out to you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have ever tried to fire up an old uh, PS3 hard drive using not just this adapter, but any kind of adapter, whether it's like a dock or something like this. Let me know if you guys have had any luck uh, firing up one of those and you guys can go kind of come together again as a community and we can figure out if it works with a PS3. If, it, if it's an IDE hard drive or a SATA hard drive, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, and if you want to try it out, you can always, like I said, get it on Amazon, linked in the description, and test it out. And if it doesn't work, send it back because it didn't work and just put that as your reason. Okay, I am Dave Man uh, uh, made a comment and this was a really good one because he wanted to, he's, he left a bunch of stuff, but he said, note that the clicking IDE or SATA hard drive is considered dead and can't be recovered unless you spend hundreds of dollars at a specialized lab. I ran into that problem when I was trying to recover some data for his uh, friend's daughter. So I can vouch for that too because this hard drive here, the old Maxtor hard drive that I have, it makes a clicking sound and it's dead. Um, I did bring it to a place here in town called Doghouse Computers and they ran it on uh, Linux, Windows, and a Mac to see if they could get it to boot up through their uh, so specialized software that they have and they could not do that. because. So then, uh, actually I called a PC Forensics, that's what he's talking about here, uh, place first and uh, that is a place where they can go in and actually work on the hardware of the drive where they actually open it up and they may have to fix the heads or the little clicky thing, the needle thing there. It may just be scratching your disc or it may just be getting stuck on something. And so uh, that's what Dave's talking about where it's gonna cost hundreds of dollars because whenever I called the guy, he said, yeah, these old Mac store hard drives, we can usually get those to work just by changing out a few parts. It'll probably cost you about $500 or so. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't know if it's really worth that much. I said, it's only an 80 gig. And he was like, well, you know, I might be able to bring it in. I might be able to do a little something for you. Uh, so there, there might be a little bit of play there. We're working with some of those forensic guys. But uh, if your hard drive is dead, there is a chance that you can get some uh, data off of it depending on who you go to and how much you want to spend. So it's basically like how much is it worth to you to get the stuff on the hard drive. Now I will say that he mentioned Seagates are harder if they are making that clicking noise to do forensics on because they have their own in-house forensics thing and they don't want other people working on it. He did say though that Western digital hard drives are usually a lot easier to get into. So if you do have a Western Digital that's not working very well, uh, it's easier for a third party to come in, a forensics guy to come in and do some of the, uh, the uh, recovery for you. It's just a matter, like I said, of if it's worth it or not. Um, but I was having that problem with this one and that's where I got a little bit of my information because I called up a dude about it and he's the one who told me to bring it to that doghouse computers first and have them run some software uh, stuff on it to see if they could get it to boot up because that would be a lot cheaper than what he would cost because whenever he goes in there, 
he has to open it up and find out what's wrong and then literally order some of those uh, pieces that he needs to fix the hard drive. And if he can't order those piece, pieces, he has to go searching around for them, calling old manufacturers and all this type of stuff. So it's just a lot more work involved that way, uh, especially whenever it comes to being so specialized with that. But a lot of these forensic people do have a lot of old hard drives that customers have just given them or they've collected throughout the years. And they can kind of use some of the parts from those old hard drives to get them working is what the guy was telling me. If you're having a problem with this, call up a local um, PC or hard drive forensics place or something like that. Look up the hard drive forensics or PC repair uh, type of thing or PC recovery. That's another uh, keyword that you guys can look into uh, to, to search on Google and put in your hometown and see if there's somebody in your area that will do that. Got a few more questions here. Let's keep rolling. We got Chai Cool Kid, one, two, three, one. Can you get stuff off like corrupted hard drives? So that's basically what I was talking about just now. If it's corrupted where it's making that clicking sound, you gotta go through some forensics guy. If it's just a hard drive that you want to access and uh, you know you just need a way to get to it, then yes, this will work. I don't know kind of what, what uh, aspect you're talking about, if it's hardware or software. That's what you have to figure out first. If your hard drive's not, not mounting, that's usually a hardware problem, but you wanna check with a specialized person who can run some extra software type stuff to see if they can get it to mount, because that's gonna be, like I said, cheaper than the other. Uh, this is Futile said, did you link the wrong one? I only see the 285 reviews, not the 10,000 that you stayed in the video, thanks. I believe that what happened with this is that Sabrent updated their uh, device here, and I believe whenever they update it, uh, it, it starts it all over as a new listing on Amazon, and so they lose all of those, um, however many number of, of uh, reviews that they had. Uh, whenever I was doing the video, it was 10,000. I did go back and check, and it was in the hundreds now, although um, by the time you see this, it might be back up into the thousands or tens of thousands or whatever, but I just know that this thing worked for me, and I like the look of it. It didn't look as like... Uh, run down or, or, or scrapped together like some of the other ones, and that's why I went with it. Uh, High-end cheap tech said, if you have a, S, a solid state drive or a 2.5 inch hard drive or a 3.5 inch SATA 3 uh, drives, this product is great. I just brought, bought the Sabrent 2 port dock. It is great. It offers offline disk cloning. Get a new SSD or a 2.5 or 3.5 inch drive. With two clicks of a button, it will clone it. It is a great product. I shared your video, by the way. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And now I have a spare 163 gigabytes to store uh, all of my video files on. It's super fast. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought that this was an interesting product. And I'll link it up down in the description below if I can find it. I haven't gone and checked it out yet. But basically what it does is it's dock. You put a good hard drive in and then you put your old hard drive in. And then it basically clones or makes a copy of everything on that old hard drive to the new hard drive. So uh, you can free up some storage space and you can kind of uh, organize everything a little bit more. And it's just a way to have a good hard backup of all your stuff as well if you're looking to make a backup of all of your data. So uh, I've seen those before. Sometimes they're called RAID arrays. I've actually re uh, reviewed one in the past because my friend James does a lot of video editing stuff and he has what's called a Drobo. And uh, basically you pop in like five to 10 hard drives and you have one cord that you plug into your computer and it can read all those hard drives and it backs them all up using all the different hard hard drives in case something goes bad with one. Super cool device. Uh, you guys might want to look into it if you're looking for more like concrete, I need to back this up type of stuff. Um, Efren Devalio said, I just connected my second hard drive. It's making funny sounds. <clears throat> Again, that's probably a hard, or could possibly be a hardware issue. Like I was talking, it might be corrupted. You might need to go to a forensics guy or a, a, a specialized computer place where they can link it, try and uh, mount it with some other OSs to see if that changes anything. Or um, you might need to take it to like a forensic place where they're gonna actually uh, open up the hard drive and try to extract the data from it that way. And uh, Mohammed 2 says, what is the name of the charger? I'd like to buy it alone. Uh, Mohammed, this is the charger right there. I'm gonna see if it'll focus on there. You can pause the video and check it out right there. It's nothing special or anything. Is a, a 
Chinese brand, I believe, or Asian Power Devices Incorporated AC uh, adapter model number WA-18Q12FU. It's a 100 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz, 0.5 amp max output, 12 volts, uh, 1.5 amps. So it's uh, probably something that you can find online, Amazon or something like that, but uh, that's the power adapter. This is, it's about a six foot long cord there. And this is what the other end looks like. Just kind of your generic uh, end right there uh, for any type of thing that you're trying to power up. Um, that's the questions that you guys had for me. If you guys are interested in that Drobo uh, hard drive array or any of the other hard drives, because I've reviewed like solid state hard drives or anything, I'm gonna put a playlist of video of all the hard drive stuff that I've reviewed here on the channel. You guys go click these videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. If you have a question that you want me to answer about this thing, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you. Thank y'all for watching. A thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.